Hi friends! Today I have a helper with me. You'll notice he may stay up on the pillow while I read. He might jump down. That's up to him. But this is Gizmo, my Chihuahua puppy. Um, today we're going to read a story about the end of the school year. Usually at the end of the school year you get to go on a field trip and sometimes you might get to go to the zoo for your field trip. I know we don't get to go to the zoo this year since we're all stuck at home, but in this story, A Hippopotamus Ate the Teacher, written by Mike Thaler and illustrated by Jared Lee, this class goes to the zoo and something happens. A Hippopotamus Ate the Teacher. It's kind of a silly book. One day, our teacher, Ms. Jones, took us to the zoo. She showed us the monkeys, the tigers, and the kangaroo. Then she showed us the hippopotamus. But she leaned too close to the rail to feed it a peanut, and she fell in. Uh-oh. And the hippopotamus ate her. Oh, my, we all cried. We went to the zookeeper and told him, the hippopotamus just ate our teacher. Oh, my, said the zookeeper. In she goes into the hippo's belly. He went to the zoo director. The hippopotamus just ate their teacher. Oh my, said the zoo director. We went to the hippopotamus. The zoo director opened up the hippopotamus's mouth and we all looked in, but we couldn't see anything. Then, all of a sudden, a voice came from deep inside the hippopotamus. All right, class, it's time to go, said the voice. It was Miss Jones. Oh, so Miss Jones is talking from inside the hippo. And now the hippo has on Miss Jones's hat. <laughs> Line up and hold hands, said the voice from inside the hippopotamus. So we did. Follow me back to the bus, said the voice. So we did. They are following a hippopotamus wearing a hat. Then the whole class rode back to school with the hippopotamus. The other teachers were very surprised when we all arrived. was very surprised also, but we explained it to him. So the next day the hippopotamus taught our class. It taught us math and history and geography. It read us stories. All the other kids thought the hippopotamus was great. They looked in the windows and peeked in the door. But as time went on, we began to miss Ms. Jones. So the hippopotamus teacher isn't bad, but they really miss their teacher. It was hard to hug the hippopotamus and we couldn't sit on its lap. So one day in the middle of a history lesson, we all grabbed the hippo and turned it upside down. Then we shook it till Ms. Jones fell out. <gasps> She's back. Well, class, she said, Back to your seats. The third president of the United States was Thomas Jefferson. Oh, so Miss Jones is back and the hippo's just in the corner.
Any questions? She smiled, adjusting her glasses. And that's the end. Hope you guys liked our silly book. And don't, rem don't forget, next time you go to the zoo, don't get too close to the hippos. Have a good day.